Nick. Come here, please. Michael, go to the glass. I have a word with you in the office, please. Fine. Hello, Mr. Falk. Hi. What's up? Nick here decided to trip a student in the hallway today. Really? Is that true? Yeah. Is this the same student who you've been bullying earlier? Maybe. You understand that bullying is not okay, whether it's at school or outside of school, right? Yeah. What did you say for yourself? I don't know. I, I do it because it's fun. You know it's wrong. Yeah. Is this going to happen anymore? No. Nick, you're suspended for five days. Okay. How do little decisions have big consequences? Little decisions have big consequences because little decisions can have big consequences. <laughs> Period. So, as in life, um, physics kind of gets involved here where for every action there's always a, another reaction and for every decision there's always some sort of consequence and even small decisions can have a huge impact or a huge consequence. Um, for example, if you are driving and you decide to just text the tiny little word no, you could lose your focus and wind up having a huge consequence that affects somebody else for their life forever. So um, every decision you make has a consequence, big or small, it's something that you have to deal with in your life. All right. The decisions you make on a daily basis are not made in a vacuum. Everything that you do impacts something else. So when you make a yes or no decision to get up and come to school in the morning, that's going to have an impact on seven classes, maybe a team, maybe your friends that were counting on you to be there. Everything snowballs. So it's like that snowball that starts at the top of the hill and keeps going down and down and down and at the end it's huge and ginormous. That's what happens with our decisions. One little decision that we make, although it might seem really innocent and simple, it has ramifications and it impacts other things. Sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. But every time we make a decision, we have to think about that and know that it's not done in a vacuum and that it's going to impact other areas of our life. Over, Rowan. Oh, All right. Uh, I actually go over this in my class, Consumer Z. We talk about wants and needs. You may want to buy the newest CD, uh, but you need to save money for college, you need to save money for cars. So your little decisions that you make early on in life, uh, or now, are, is going to affect your life later on. So, yeah, every decision that you make is going to affect you somehow, some way, now and in the future. Yes. Little decisions make the consequences because some people don't make the right decisions. And when you make that decision, I feel like you should think on that decision and not just, well, I got somebody calling on the phone my interview, but I feel like you should think before you make that decision. You're going up. All right, you can come there and Good morning. Con los terroristas. Harlem shit.